Hi YouTube. On my last video, uh, Sound Money Pirate left a, a great eloquent uh, post and it really caught me flat footed. And in all honesty, I mean, I'll, I'll link in the I'll I'll put a link in the description, not a link. I'll, I'll actually copy and paste it into the description box. And uh, I'd like you to just take a moment to read it. Um, what it did is it made me think of an essay that I read a while ago called "The Paradox of Our Time." And uh, you know, he, he wouldn't be the first to question, you know, what is it exactly that we're doing here? Is this uh, is this beneficial? And you can apply it, you know, he's applying it to the silver community. You can certainly apply it to a lot of things in life. Uh, there's a lot of emptiness. And uh, that, that was basically what he was reflecting on. And, you know, it, it just made me question a few things. Um, but I've always had these questions, you know. I, I often wonder, when you think back to uh, a simpler time, a better time, is it simply that you're reflecting on youth and in, in the carefree days of youth and in your your uh, outlook on the world was different? You know, how much different was the world really? You know, um, how, how strong were the relationships in the 90s versus today, for instance, right? I mean, this is the kind of stuff I think about a lot. And uh, like I said, the, the, the essay is uh, called The Paradox of Our Time. And it's funny because the, es the, um, the video's name was going to be uh, George Carlin Said It Best. So I went to uh, Google just to verify that George Carlin did indeed uh, put this essay out, and it turns out, well, he didn't. Typical of the internet, right? We attribute things to people, and and in fact, uh, George Carlin, very uh, according to Snopes, George Carlin very emphatically denied he had anything to do with paradox, a piece he referred to as a sappy load of excrement, as only George could say, right? So, regardless, I love George Carlin. And uh, but I, I do enjoy this essay, sappy load of excrement or not. Um, and, and the thing is, it, it very easily could have been written today. You know, there's only a couple lines in there that are that are uh, you know uh, false. Um, but it could have very easily also been written in 1985, or it could have been written in 1975. Okay, um, and 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 on and on and on. And like I said, I wonder, you know, if we, when we selectively think back to uh, previous times, you know, what we're really reflecting on exactly, you know, uh, is, is society breaking down to this degree? And, and if so, what can we do to change it? And the answer is really, I mean, nothing. All you can really do is, is work on yourself. And, you know, I, I've always seen... Um, what I try to do here as a net positive, right? I mean, I, that, that's the goal anyway. You know, I'm certainly not trying to hurt anybody. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, but, you know, it, these, are, these are important questions. So what I'd like to do is I would like to read this essay called The Paradox of Our Time. And understand, for a lot of you, there's probably nothing more boring in this world than listening to me read an essay. Um, but Sound Money Pirates post really, you know, made me think back to this. All right. We have taller buildings. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we get started, uh, it was actually Dr. Bob Moorhead who said this. He was a former pastor of Seattle's Overlake Christian Church. So here we go. We have taller buildings but shorter tempers. Wider freeways but narrower viewpoints. We spend more but have less. We buy more but enjoy it less. We have bigger houses and smaller families, more conveniences, yet less time. We have more degrees, but less sense, more knowledge, but less judgment, more experts, yet more problems. We have more gadgets, but yet less satisfaction, more medicine, yet less wellness. We take more vitamins, but see fewer results. We drink too much, smoke too much, spend too recklessly, laugh too little, drive too fast, get too angry quickly, stay up too late, get up too tired, read too seldom, watch TV too much, and pray too seldom. We have multiplied our possessions, but reduced our values. We fly in faster planes to arrive there quicker, to do less and return sooner. We sign more contracts only to realize fewer profits. We talk too much, love too seldom, and lie too often. We've learned how to make a living, but not a life. We've added years to life, not life to years. We've been all the way to the moon and back, but have trouble crossing the street to meet the new neighbor. 
We've conquered outer space, but not inner space. We've done larger things, but not better things. We've cleaned up the air, but polluted the soul. We've split the atom, but not our prejudice. We write more, but learn less. Plan more, but accomplish less. We make faster planes, but longer lines. We learn to rush, but not to wait. We have more weapons, but less peace. Higher incomes, but lower morals. More parties, but less fun. More food, but less appeasement. More acquaintances, but fewer friends. More effort, but less success. We build more computers to hold more information, to produce more copies than ever, but have less communication. Drive smaller cars that have bigger problems. Build larger factories that produce less. We become long on quantity, but short on quality. These are the times of fast foods and slow di digestion. Tall men, but short character. Steep in profits, but shallow relationships. These are times of world peace, which obviously isn't true, but this was 1995, but domestic warfare. More leisure and less fun. Higher postage, but slower mail. More kinds of food, but less nutrition. These are days of two incomes, but more divorces. These are times of fancier houses, but broken homes. These are days of quick trips, disposable diapers, cartridge living, throwaway morality, one night stands, overweight bodies, and pills that do everything from cheer to prevent, quiet, or kill. It is a time when there is much in the show window and nothing in the stockroom. Indeed, these are the times. So, you know, I, I think about that, and, and, and like I said, it, it almost feels like that could have been written any time. And, uh, you know, when, when I look at trends in society, I, I see a lot of negative trends. And, and I do wonder what we can do to reverse some of these. You know, while technology is great, I don't think that it fulfills the needs of man. You know, I, I, I've often thought about doing a video, is, uh, is, is technology advancing faster than the needs of man can adapt? Um, you know, I wonder, one of the things that I wonder is, you know, we're, we're really living unnatural human lives now. You know, when, when you think about how you have to, you know, it, there was no, no reason to have a treadmill a hundred years ago. Everybody worked so hard that they didn't have, to, you know, time to exercise for the fun of it. You know, um, we have all these conveniences in place. But, it, you know, it, it saps us of some of our primal desires, you know. I, I think about, um, I mean, the Internet is a fantastic thing, but how many how many relationships are destroyed, are created and destroyed from it, you know. I mean, all the way down to, you know, you read about people with porn addictions that then have trouble, you know, connecting with a woman. I mean, it, at what point is, is the progress that we're seeing really... Uh, a, a, a true negative, you know, um, one of his points was that, uh, you know, the connections that we make via social media is, uh, you know, not really the kind of connections that a person needs. And I, I believe that strongly. Um, I do, you know, the, the time that people spend on Facebook, you know, while it seems like something that would be great, you know, I get to connect with people I went to high school with and everything, it becomes an all consuming thing. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's not healthy when you're uh, abandoning those around you in uh, in favor of, uh, you know, I guess the, the technology, uh, social media, Facebook, even maybe YouTube. So, um, I don't know. I, I just, um, like I said, his, uh, his post really caught me flat-footed. I'm hoping that maybe, uh, you know, you guys will, will take a moment to read what he had to say. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully this is more of an interactive type video. Um, let me know what you thought about the essay. You know, I, like I said, I, I think it's as true today as the day it was written. And uh, just kind of give me your overall thoughts. But, uh, you know, what I, what I try to do here um, is what I would hope, like I said, to be a, a net positive. Um, you know, certainly there's a lot of negativity out there. You know, sure, you get caught up in it. There's a little bit of drama here and there. But you know, I don't let that stuff affect me. You know, um, somebody said it best. It's just YouTube. And uh, that's the attitude I try to take um, as far as the negative stuff goes. And I really try to, uh, you know, enjoy every moment of the positive stuff. And, and that's, you know, the overwhelming part of all of this. So um, that's just my take.
Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later.